What's up? Another recipe here in Greg's cookbook. We're in the kitchen here. Um, we're doing omelet styles today. And not just your normal omelet, vegetarian omelets that aren't just omelet, but protein omelets for the vegetarian. How's that even possible? How do you get protein without meat? Well, I'm going to show you how. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all egg whites, right? Before I get into that, let me say something. Why is the pan here on the counter instead of on the stove? Well, most people put the pan on the stove, they heat it up, and the first thing they do is they grab your olive oil and they spray it, right? And then what happens? It smokes right off. Here on the counter, get everything prepared here. Spray a little non-stick olive oil right there. Egg whites. What's so good about egg whites? No cholesterol, no fat, no carbs, all protein. How much protein? 30 grams of protein right now we're putting in here. So we're gonna put that here on our base. Alright, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our mushrooms in. What are mushrooms? Most people think like vegetables are like a high carbohydrates. No, 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 not Mr. Mushroom. Mr. Mushroom here is your protein based vegetable, meaning there's more protein than there is carbohydrates. And actually, in this case, there's about 15 grams of protein we're putting in here, mushroom style. So we're gonna grab these guys here and sprinkle them all around. Boom. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little cheddar, 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 cheddar cheese in there. Reduce fat. What's in here? More protein. Seven grams of protein. How many carbs? One gram of carb. So basically, this thing is basically carb-free so far. Let's put a little cheese in there. Cheese helps it all stick together real well too. Very nice. We have a few other kings that are coming to the table a little bit later though. Salsa. What's good about salsa? And look at it, hot salsa. Hot, hot. Um, anytime you use any spices like that, it's a natural thermogenic. It helps us in increase metabolism in your body to burn fat. That goes in later. What we're gonna do right now is cook this. We also have spinach, baby spinach leaves, which is the number one food in the world, I think. I mean, this is Popeye's food, this is my food. I love this food. It's got every vitamin you can even imagine. Tons of iron, it's great for building muscle, calcium, everything. The only thing about spinach you have to be kind of like aware of, it's only as good as the less time you cook it. So if you start cooking spinach up, um, you start cooking the nutrition out of the spinach. It's not something we want to do. So we're going to hold up that to the end. We also have little cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are right, great antioxidants and really good for the heart. Um, so we're going to put all those guys in as this thing starts to cook. So bring this guy over here, put on our stove here. Basically, we're going to center everything in the middle there, and we're going to move it around a little bit with a spatula, and what we're trying to do here is get everything evenly spaced, we're kind of going to let it sit, man, we're going to let that cheese melt in there, and uh, the way you know you're ready to flip this thing and turn this thing is when the edges start getting a little brown, alright? So it's getting a little bit brown, also you see a little bit of smoke coming up, that means it cooked all the way through. Your inside here should be pretty solid by then, it should be so liquefied. So you just kind of keep a note on it, keep looking, you know, um, I don't know, pick up the phone, call your friend or something, and uh, you can see right now how the edges are already getting a little white. Everything else is kind of clear. Um, so we need this part here to turn dark, and this part here to turn the white, and then we'll be ready. So but make sure everything's evenly spaced. Um, you also want to, when you do this, you want to make sure you have a nice flip line. Does, you know what I mean by that? Because this, this thing's going to flip over. And uh, when it flips over, if there's a mushroom or something impeding the flip, it'll crack it. And we want to not only make a delicious omelet, we want to make it visually delicious also. Because we are in the profession of uh, visual sensation here at Crackbook.com. <laughs> All right. So we got a few more minutes here, um, and we will cut tape for the moment. And games that never amount to more than they're meant. All right, we're just about there. Um, what's just about there? I'm thinking about maybe 45 seconds to a minute out, maybe a little bit more. Um, I mean, if you ever cook, if you ever cook it, not a big deal because you're the one eating it, so it's not like you're gonna write a complaint to yourself. But right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in everything else. Spinach leaves last because those are the ones that, as you cook them, they start losing nutritional value. Our cherry tomatoes, 
and our salsa. So you can do this on a plate after you cook it if you want. I have to put it all together though. Um, and with the cherry tomatoes, we're just gonna like, smash them in there real fast so we don't have any clumps. So, oops. We won't pick that one up off the floor, by the way. Here we are. Sanitary. And in Grace Kitchen. Not! <laughs> Five second rule always. Boom! Okay. The rest of there with Mr. Tomato. Tomato, tomato. Whatever. All right, so I'm gonna drop these guys in there. Kind of sticking on the bottom there a little bit. Okay. We got a few more here. These guys in there. It's just falling all over the place. Put the sauce in there with a the finger. Why the sauce is good? Helps increase metabolism. It's gonna smell some good right now. I rehearsed this before and it's so much better than rehearsal. Either way, this is how we do it live. Alright, two spatulas, right? We need two. We're gonna flip this guy over. We can probably turn the heat off right now. Um, why two? Well, this guy gave us two hands. Made it easier. Why not two? This way we can get nice and pure. So pick up one side. And we're right on that cut line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then what we do is we clean off the sides a little bit like that. And then, grab our plate. Boom. And all this good stuff on top that's cut out. That's the little top dressing for us. Dude, check out that. Check out that omelet style. Vegetarian protein omelet. You gotta take a picture and put it on the third page of Denny's, Denny's menu. Because that I would order. And just put like the protein veggie style. And it's got a smiley face. Uh, anyway, this is the protein omelet for vegetarians. It tastes really good. And uh, quick, man, if you only have a few minutes. Uh, you don't need any more time than that. Might be a little hot though. Uh huh. It's a little more hot. But it tastes good. Hot, hot. Ow! Okay. Okay. Watch this. Now a little poke to the earth. learn that together is that it's best to let it cool down first. But it's really easy to make, high in protein. The total package here in protein is about 58 grams, 60 grams of protein. The carb count is less than five. It took less than five minutes, you know? The cleanup takes longer than it took to make it. So give them a shot. I'm gonna go enjoy breakfast. Fred Plitt, helping you eat fit. Thanks for watching. Grow this year, man. We're gonna make it all happen. Very clear, help me stay fit. Thanks for watching.